right, we're checking out the only game where you literally get to set your restaurant on fire in zero G. It's one armed cook. I don't actually know what happened to my other arm, but there's a there's a frog wearing a cowboy hat. It could also be a, a bowler hat. I'm really not sure. There's a how to cook book over here, but I'm not going to read it. The very first thing I have to ask myself, well, you know what? We're going to get cooking right away. Now we're going to be making hamburgers over here with cheese on them. Some people would call it a cheeseburger, but I don't really plan on putting the cheese on the burger. I just plan on maybe throwing it at the person at light speed. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna grab all the meat. We're gonna get everything started. Uh, some of it's gonna be on the floor. All right, a lot of it's gonna be on the floor because my right arm was actually my bad arm. Oh, wow, I didn't really think everything would be so flammable. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and put all of the you may call these burger buns, but I, I call them kindling. We're gonna put all the fuel over here. Shut up! All right, now whenever you cook, you want to get the food, you know, heated up so that when you can take the different- Oh, wait, before I take everyone's order, let me grab a knife. Make sure you're so- Great, what do you need a knife for while you're taking orders? Well, people order a lot faster when they're held at knife point. What would you like, sir? Ready to order. See, he doesn't know yet. Let me put the knife down. How about now? You ready to order yet? Nope. How about- <laughs> I didn't think that the knife would interact with the person, but, ah, uh, hold on. Oh, whoa, okay. Uh, this is spread a lot further than I thought it would. Oh God, it's starting to go to the microwave. Oh God, it's inside of my freezer. Oh, the fire alarm battery just died. Well, uh, since it's not making any noise, I guess I'll just leave it. Alrighty, hello everyone. Guess what? We're giving away free cheese today. Now, one of the things that you do in this game is you eventually graduate over to the moon where you have to prepare food. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I cut this cheese in, in one single swoop. It's like I'm doling out cards. There you go. All right. Whatever. You, you, I'm sure you can pick it up or maybe you're just catatonic. Oh, you can pick up the, the flower pot? <laughs> Yeet. All right, let's go ahead and uh, turn off the fire over here, but I because I do need to start legitimately making food for people so I can get enough money. Okay. Alrighty. This is very thick anti flame juice. It's like I'm throwing it's like I'm throwing marshmallows at the problem. Why is the ground still on fire randomly? This is concrete. There's nothing flammable down here. There, are we done? Are we done burning everything? You know I have to make legitimate food. Oh, this burger is literally on fire. Hmm. Ah, uh, you know what? I have an idea. I'm trying to I'm trying to get some of this stuff off of here. Oh, ev oh, now everyone's running, huh? Now that the fire is, you know, overtaking my entire cooking station and we're all going to die, except for these eight brave gentlemen. All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab this plate. Put that right there. And grab your, your burger bun. Go ahead and put it on the floor. Grab yourself a knife. Now we have to cut the burger bun, but I can't reach it. So we're just going to drop the knife on the burger bun. Not gonna lie, cooking inside of the inferno of death is a lot harder than I previously anticipated. I think that's a burger. I'm not really sure. It's all kind of on fire, so I can't really tell. All right, so I've got, uh, here. I've got, I'm pretty sure I have two buns on there and a piece of meat. So this is technically a burger. Let me see. If I drop it in front of you, do you take it? This isn't cooked right, but he's still ate it, and he ate it while it's on fire. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look at this. Now just his remnants are on fire. Oh, now the entire, the entire table's on fire. Now the plant's on fire. I had to get an entire new restaurant because it wouldn't stop being on fire. So three hamburgers and a bacon cheeseburger. How come you have to be different there at the end? Huh? Why can't you make my life easy? So you gotta toast your buns first. Now I think this time we're going to legitimately make everything that everyone wants without setting a single person on fire. I, I keep my floor pretty sterile. So even though a lot of this stuff is hitting the ground, I don't think anyone's going to get hepatitis. Can you melt cheese? What happens if I put cheese on there? It just kind of dances, like really rapidly. Why is my cheese dancing a jig on top? Oh my God, the cheese is very flammable. I had no idea. Uh, hold on. I don't, I don't want to ruin. 
No, 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 yes. I am not ruining this restaurant too. I have to make like $250 and it's not easy. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, all right? We're gonna grab our bun, we're gonna put it on there. Mm. Whoever made this game, I hate you. We're gonna cut our bun, perfect. We're gonna put this, uh, don't you leave! We're gonna put this on the bun. And then the, yeah, then the, then the burger is just gonna yeet itself right through the plate. Fantastic. Cooking is possibly the worst job in the entire universe. I have to create it at this point. Just pick up the plate. There. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Who would like a hamburger? Do you want me to feed it to you as well? Eat it. Eat it. All right. Burger. That was a great meal. Man, you guys don't have very high expectations, do you? Thank God. Okay, bun, N knife, cut, bloop, drop, meat, on there. Uh, uh, oh God, on there. It doesn't matter how it's made, it just matters that it's all going into the same place anyway. There, boom, great meal. Yeah, it totally doesn't matter. What happens if I stack like 10 burgers on one plate? Can I just give everyone the exact same plate? Hold on, the aerodynamics. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. The aerodynamics of these things are amazing. Oh, there's a rat. The rat just took my burger. Oh, you can't leave, can you? Hold on, I have an idea, hold on, hold on. You can't go anywhere, so I'm just gonna leave him there for a minute. I have a pet rat now, this is incredible. It'd be, it'd be wonderful if, if you just remain as part of my, like, my business and... <laughs> the rat doesn't even care. The rat just got slapped and he doesn't care. Ah! What you gonna do now, rat? <laughs> there. And now the rat is going to be my friend forever because he can't leave the refrigerator. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take one plate. We're gonna take our knife. We're gonna use this one because it's already been through so much. I know I could just use a cleaner knife, but why? When I can just use this one. So we're gonna put all of the buns on here, like all of it, okay? As many, as many as I can get. Not the knife. Well, actually, the plate is kind of, there we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that is, that is beautiful. This is possibly the best burger that any human has ever made for the consumption of another human. How you doing over there, rat? I'm freezing. Good. That's what you get for trying to steal my stuff. So now we have this leaning tower of burgers over here. That looks unsafe. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab this. How is it staying together? No clue. Absolutely no idea. Ready to order. Give it to me. Hamburger. You got it. Which one you want? I got a whole I got a whole slew of them here. Here. Oh, you ate the whole thing! Do I still get my $15? I didn't know you would eat everything, you glutton. Hey! How about that? You order that? You like it? Does it taste good? He's like, it tastes like I'm fire resistant now. Good! How about if I serve someone this? Like on a plate? Like, can I actually put the fire extinguisher on a plate and then serve it to a human being? I need to know. Now, I know you might be asking yourself, Gray, why are you even trying to do this? Just, just trust me on this, all right? You never know. So, he wants a bacon cheeseburger. We're gonna put this plate in front of him with absolutely nothing on it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put down an entire fire extinguisher. Now, will you eat this? Is this something that is consumable by a human? I do want to find out. No, he will not eat it. How about if I put this plant on this plate? There, right there. Are you a vegan? <laughs> because outside of the glass, well, even the glass technically is vegan, I suppose. If I served you an entire block of cheese, would you eat the entire block of cheese? Yes, he will absolutely eat a full block of cheese. Wonderful. Now, another thing that you can do is order food online. Uh, you're gonna see we have a little bit of money to play with. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, do that. And then we're just, we're gonna, we're gonna do that repeatedly. If I stand in front of this truck, will it run me over? Yep. Oh my God. You put five burgers inside of a box, that's it? Can I put the box of burgers on a plate and serve it? I mean, technically there is food in there. Actually, can I just, can I cook the entire box with the burgers in it? Here. Nope, 
Sure can't. How about, can I, can I throw all of the burger buns and everything inside of this? <laughs> the rat can't get at it because it's inside the box. I went ahead and let him out because I felt really bad that he was dying inside of the freezer slowly of hypothermia. And he's actually been such a nice rat that I don't, I don't want to kill him. Here, I can pick him up though. Wait, can you cook the rat? Oh no. Oh, I feel so bad about this. But I have to do it for science because you guys would ask if it's possible. Huh. Huh. The rat's fine. It doesn't hurt him at all. Can you... Watch that for me. Alright, grab a plate. Grab this. Put this on top of the plate. Problem is I can't see the plate now. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna grab this. We're gonna put this here. Go ahead and order. Cheeseburger, you got it. How about this box of cheeseburgers? I'll give them all to you for 20 bucks. Plate. <coughs> Sorry! Alright, put this on the plate. There. Boom. How about that? Does that count? Does that work? Oh! Oh! What? If you put the plate under the box, and then you pick the plate up through the box, it picks up everything? What? What? I have a plan. I'm sorry. Just trust me on this. Oh, now you have a friend. Sweet. All right, yeah, you go in there too. All right, we're gonna throw a burger in there. Oh, hold on. We're gonna throw a burger in there. Perfect. Grab one of these knives. Go ahead and cut the burger. I said cut the burger. Cut the burger. All right, you know what? Let's bring the burger up here and cut it. Got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a third rat. That's cool. Come here. Yeah, this is th three's a crowd. Oh, can I not fit this rat inside of the inside the box? Come here! Don't you run from me? <laughs> Get in the box! All right, now we're gonna put the burgers inside of here. Okay, and trust me on this. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pick up this box. Oh, the rats get out of the box! This is the healthiest restaurant in, in the history of mankind. Come here. All right, so how about if I put the rat on the plate? Oh, he runs away. That's too bad. Stop eating the plant and get on the plate. Stop it. All right, so put this on the... No! Put this on the plate like this. And then grab the plate through the box. I love that this rat doesn't know how to leave this table. Or he's just really good friends with everyone there. There we go. Perfect. Would you like to eat three raw buns? Yes, he would. All right, I have a new plan. I feel really bad about putting the rats inside, like, on the burner. So I'm gonna put them in the sink. This is kind of cool because it gives all the rats the opportunity to take a bath. Look at this. Boom. Right there. How many rats can you fit in the sink, right? I don't know. I never tried. Bam. The rats are like, ah, oh, it's like the Titanic. We're drowning. <laughs> oh, they're actually, they're not drowning. They're learning to swim. This one is floating. The sad part is, in order to graduate, I just need to make one single burger. <laughs> like, one real burger to graduate. Can I cook it while it's on the plate? Like, how about I just cook the whole plate? It just seems like it's easier. Give me a second, I have to I have to get rid of all these boxes out of here. Otherwise, I can't order more boxes. Yeah, these boxes do not, do not deal with gravity in any kind of normal fashion. Can you just take me with you? Like, if I close these doors from the inside, no, I have to close them from the outside. Oh, I can't close them at all. I needed to find some buns because I ran out of them, but luckily part of them have just been like slowly molding in front of that random guy. I'm gonna put the buns on. Oh, they totally cook on the plate. Why does no one do this? This is the best idea. Then you grab a meat. All right, then we put the meat on there. Then we put the meat on there. Boom, like that. If you want, I could throw a, I could throw a piece of bacon on there too. Watch this, bam, right there. Okay. Then we're gonna grab this. Then while it's literally on fire, we're gonna find someone that just wants a hamburger. This guy right over here. Give it to him, and that's and that's great. We got a real burger, and now the fire is levitating in midair. It has completely disregarded the way physics work, and so we are now allowed to make burgers in zero G. Yep. Just up here in space, I own a cafe in the orbit of the Earth, which seems like a really, really bad idea. Also, I don't know. Oh, sweet. It's like a. It's like a Mustang, but it's a flying space Mustang. That's excellent. I don't know if this guy is really an alien or he's just very sick. Also notice out here in space, we don't either have the money or the oxygen level to support a real plant. So it's just a holographic image of a plant. 
Which, if there's not enough oxygen to support the plants, I feel really bad because then that would mean that there's not enough oxygen to support me. Oh, this is great. Our, our meat and stuff just levitates. Are those tentacles? Yep, that is a tentacle. That is a full, uncooked tentacle. Oh, well, that's right. I can't put it on a table because there is no table. What was the problem? What was a gravity table? Oh, it sticks to the gravity table. Sweet. What are these? Glow shrooms. All right, just stick it to the table. Whoa. Uh, hey, could you not just fought? Tell me this isn't zero G. Oh my God. Hey! All right, if you guys see a fire, I'm gonna give you the fire extinguisher. Go ahead and handle that for me. All right. What would you like to eat? We have a, gl a glow shroom. Plutomari, Plutomari, Plutomari. That seems really easy. Uh, this is prob. What is this? Is this like a? What is this? Oh, it's a dishwasher. If I put a tentacle in there, does it does it wash or? I don't even know. I'm gonna try and go. Oh, it's a laser! I love it. It's just a laser beam that cooks the tentacles. How do I know when the tentacles are done? Well, that's gotta mean done. By the way, uh, d does stuff catch on fire in zero gravity? And if so, what happens to the fire? I'm sure it'll be fine. Where's the plates at? Oh, here we are. Perfect. Alrighty, we have our very first fire in the orbit of Earth. That's fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. And it does fall right on the plate somehow. I'm not exactly sure why or how that works, but that's kind of cool. All right, so can I just grab this whole platter? Can I move it? No, you have to grab the plate. You like char on your, on your Pluto octopus tentacle? I have to like put it in front of you. It's zero gravity, so this isn't cooked right. Oh yeah? How about this one? Is this one cooked right? Is this one cooked right? Yeah! Massage him with the tentacle! Where do you think you're going? I love that the plate is just randomly floating through the air and it's gonna beam this guy in the shoulder. Bam! Right there. Can you use a plate that has already been used? You know what I mean? Like, hold on, let me, let me see. Pluto Mari. Okay, so we got a few more people that want the Pluto Mari. So if I take this plate, and it's already been eaten on, but whatever. Put that right there. Now we grab the tentacle. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, here we go. Grab the tentacle. Now, normally you wouldn't be able to grab it, but it is zero G, so I could just like float through the air. <laughs> All right, will this work? Right there. Hey! The food was great, but my plate was dirty! You can use the same plate! Uh, I'll take care of that later. So how do- Whoa! Oh my god, it's- It's like lightsabering the plate. It's like something out of Star Wars! Now this thing keeps catching on fire! Everything's so flammable in space. Here you are, sir. Customer satisfaction is still really high. All right, let me grab a cold dog over here. Put that right there. Oh, my cold dog disintegrated. Is it supposed to be cooked? I, I just thought about that because if you cook the cold dog, then it's not cold anymore. One second, I can't actually see what I'm doing. So I gotta put out the fire again. <laughs> I love that everything is just made out of like stainless steel and it all catches on fire like it's made out of balsa wood. All right, I think I have put out all of the fire. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay, so I guess don't cook the hot dog. How about the bun? Do you want me to like heat up the bun or do you just keep the whole bun cold? I right, grab one of these knives over here. Oh, I can just, I can hold the bun and then the laser penetrates through my hand, crippling me. I only have one hand left to give. All right, so this this looks this looks good. This looks like we're gonna get somewhere here. All right, grab this. Okay, cut the hot dog. Boom, right there. No big deal. Put it on the platter. Grab the cold dog. Do not heat the cold dog up. Bloop the cold dog on the platter. This is like expert plating over here. Does anyone here actually want a cold dog? I hope one of you does. Oh yeah, fantastic meal, big money. And finally, I have actually sold something. And that means I'm going to take my entire arsenal of tentacles and throw them all over the restaurant. Well, this looks absolutely awful. I found out today that anyone will give you a fantastic meal rating if you hold them at knife point. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of One Arm Cook. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.